Well, let's uh, very quickly now bring you our Joy News agenda. It's all about street lights, uh, street lights that are not functioning, and we're, we're looking carefully today at the Aimensa Ibri stretch, where even in front of the presidential lodge at Pidriasi, the lights are not working and have not been for a while. This, by the way, is a 10-year-old road, probably less than 10 years old. Let's have a look at this report. In daylight, the view from above is stunning. The meandering curves through the lush greens up the hill from Aimensa through the Ebri Mountains make it even more touristy. But when night falls, the stretch is lonely, dark and dangerous. It's the dead of night. Oh, sorry, this is 20 pesos. It's 50 pesos. Yeah. I have come to meet um, middle-aged Anthony Adakwa in a small toll booth taking money from the few cars passing by. We get scared all the time whilst we are working. There are a whole lot of darkness. If there are some people with the bad mentalities hiding within the darkness, uh, it will cause a lot of trade to us. As we drive up the hill, fear dawns on me and my crew. There are about 10 caves within this barely two kilometer journey, all of it overlooking a silent Accra by night. Most of the metal railings used on the edges of the road to protect the cars have been ripped off. Evidence that a lot of cars run over them, falling into the ditch below the mountains sometimes. Driving on this road could be like walking a tight rope, even for the best of drivers. Every weekend, people do work. Do Kofi Aiden has been living in Ebri for 20 years and runs a pub up the hill. Even the Pidiasi Presidential Lodge, which is just across the street from where he works, has no street lights at the entrance. We can't move in the night. The traders from Medina, Adenta, to Adolso, in Krakai, you know that the Adenta community, Medina community, they are getting their food from where I mentioned, from Adolso, from in Krakai. Kofobia business people all apply this road. And how can you apply this road in the night without light? Official accident figures on this road are hard to come by, as many go unreported. But some of the residents here told me they've lost count of the number of cars crashing into the metal railings almost every week. The streetlights have been off for years now, and no one knows when they would be back. This road, otherwise a beauty by the hill, is now a disaster waiting to happen. Justice Beidou, Joy News, on the Ebri Ayimensa Highway.